Alrighty, I thought I would do an interesting little mini series where I discuss what I would personally change about Canada's Wonderland in each section. And in today's video, I'm going to go over Medfair. Um, and I honestly don't know why I'm starting with Medfair because I feel like that's the most packed area in terms of changes that I would make to the park just based off of current attractions and its importance to the park, i.e. Winterfest, and it just being housing, obviously one of the biggest attractions in the park, Leviathan, and the areas of opportunity that the park definitely needs in terms of food and beverage. So I guess I'm starting off heavy, but I guess maybe Action Zone would be like one of the more interesting areas in terms of a video, but this one's really packed with my personal ideas to enhance Canada's Wonderland in terms of theming, attractions, and food and beverage. I'm going to go over it all, um, and I'm going to list things that I would change, re-theme, add, and remove in Medfair in today's video. So I'll get started. Um, I guess I'll start off light and then work my way into the attractions. So one of the things that I would change first about Medfair would be the food and beverage inside Medfair. Um, one of the main things would definitely be Marketplace. I think that it's underutilized. Um, this season, obviously taken out of the equation because that's different circumstances, but I would love to see it used to its full, full potential, i.e. renovating the interior to look a little nicer. The floor on the inside is absolutely kind of destroyed. Um, um, and it doesn't match the outside beautiful look of the building. And I would love to see the patio out back turned into some sort of beer and wine garden. I think that would work really well at Canada's Wonderland. And I love that they're, you know, upping their beverage line specifically at Canada's Wonderland. And I, I would love to see them utilize some of their more beautiful areas. It's definitely a hidden gem back there. And I would love to see them use it. Um, outside of that, I, I definitely think that the removal of go-karts could bring in a new food and beverage option. Now, a lot of enthusiasts uh, would love to see a roller coaster added there or a ride. And I mean, you have Leviathan right there and then you have Wild Beast right off to the left. So cramming in another roller coaster next to Drop Tower and um, Leviathan with such a small area to have a midway, it would just overcrowd that area to... <laughs> an unstable amount of crowds. So I definitely think a better option would be to build some sort of inside building and inside eatery similar to what we're getting in 2022 in Medfair. I'd love to see maybe even a medieval courtyard type theme for the building where you go in and, you know, it would still be sheltered and you'd have the ability to have Winterfest performances in there while um, being served food. You could even go extravagant and I don't think that this would ever be an option, but you could do some sort of medieval show while you're eating, similar to the one down in Toronto. So I think that there's a lot of options and I would love to see them, you know, just re- vamping the medieval theme in this section and i think that adding a more food and beverage into this area would work really well in fact it is about an hour to two hour wait to get food at the um one food stand off to the left here on a really busy day so they definitely need to utilize food and beverage in medfair a little better it's definitely a very cramped area and adding a really big sit down area in medfair that's indoors um, like they're doing in Frontier Canada, could really benefit Canada's Wonderland and Medfair as an area. Whew. Now let's get to flat ride removals. What would I remove um, from Medfair? One, it would definitely be Riptide. And two, Drop Tower. Now when I say remove, I don't necessarily mean completely remove. There is the ability to re-theme Drop Tower. Now if I was going to revamp Drop Tower, I would think to myself, is this the time that maybe I could revamp it and get a newer model? Similar to what you see at Busch Gardens Tampa, the one where it, the seats kind of like bring you upward and you're facing face down to the ground and then it drops you. I think that would be a perfect opportunity to add something like that in its place. Um, and then Riptide, maybe a Scream and Swing. And I would love to see these flat rides actually themed and belong in Medfair. Shockwave is one that I would like to see rethemed. Again, it doesn't necessarily belong in Medfair. It's literally on the outer edge of Medfair. But I would like to see them fit it into Medfair and build like gates right there leading into the um, 
Mountain area and then Kidsville as well. So Planet Snoopy area, I'd love to see Medieval Gates almost like you're exiting the actual kingdom. That's something that I would personally add and kind of retheme. You could theme Shockwave to some sort of like medieval battling ram or something like that. I know it sounds a little weird, but you could theme it. You can make it woody um, or stone, you know. And same with a Scream and Swing. I do think that a Scream and Swing would look really good in Frontier Canada or even in another area of the park that I'm going to talk about in another video. But in terms of something replacing Riptide, it would definitely be, be a medieval theme flat ride similar to a Scream and Swing or something else that could fit into the medieval th uh, medieval themed area. So it definitely focused on medieval theming and the drop tower as well. You could paint it to look like a, uh, a medieval tower of a castle. Um, very simple to do, and I would love to see it. So if you weren't going to remove Drop Tower for a newer model, just like a, a paint touch-up like you saw at CGA. Now, in terms of roller coaster removals, I definitely think the bat is going to be removed in the next 10 years, and I think that um, a flat ride could replace it or a 4D coaster could replace it. I don't think a 4D coaster would really fit well in Medfair, even though it would fit that plot of land really well. So they'd probably go with a flat ride, and I personally would probably fit in a flat ride in Medfair just because you have three major roller coasters in um, Medfair, so you don't necessarily need much more outside of that. So I would definitely probably replace it with a flat ride, and I would eventually remove Dragonfire and Wild Beast and replace them with um, probably a mock launch coaster or a Vacoma launch coaster or a Vacoma coaster in Dragonfire's plot of land, and maybe an RMC in uh, Wild Beast's location. I would definitely do ground up. I wouldn't do a conversion. Um, I would want it to be a, a standout attraction. Again, if I were to take over Canada's Wonderland or if I was to be the person making the decisions at Canada's Wonderland, these are all things that would take place over a large period of time, like 10 years. These aren't things that I would do like bam, bam, bam. Financially, that wouldn't make sense, and it's just impossible. So I got food and beverage. I would expand the food and beverage options with indoor seating to help with Winterfest and escaping the heat and providing more areas to sit in the go-kart area. I would revamp the theming in Medfair. I would add a beer and wine area to Marketplace that's actually utilized, and I would remove attractions that aren't necessarily needed and replace them with newer options. And I would just overall add almost like scenery objects. I'd love to see like catapults here and there, just like, you know, scenery off to like the left or the right of the paths. I'd love to see a little more like medieval towers or walls. Um, entrance and exit gates on the other side of Medfair. I'd love to see that. Just an overall overhaul of the area. They've definitely been touching up painting in this area and putting new roofs um, on some of the buildings. So they are definitely focused on this area. And there are definitely construction markers closer to that little lake for the show. I definitely think that's for Winterfest. It looks like they're going to add lighting like you see over by the mountain that they added for the light show over there. I think they're looking to add um, some more things for their Winterfest lineup. So Definitely intrigued to that. Um, I definitely want to hear from you guys down below. What would you change about Medfair at Canada's Wonderland? What attractions would you add? What would you remove? Um, what things would you like to see rethemed? Do you agree with some of the things I said, or do you absolutely hate my ideas? I have a feeling a lot of people are going to hate my go kart removals for restaurant ideas. I totally get that. But yeah, I just thought I'd talk about this. It's definitely an area of the park that I think Paramount kind of ruined, and Cedar Fair has been very slowly, very, very, very slowly, almost too slowly, um, replacing with the work that they did on Riptide. Uh, this season and then repainting parts of it. I would have liked to see them kind of like fit it into Medfair a little better, take that opportunity to do that. But again, we're exiting COVID, so it may not have been the time financially. But nonetheless, um, hopefully over the next five, six, ten years, we see some sort of revamps coming to Medfair. And uh, I would love to see more indoor seated restaurants. I think that's a huge thing. And I love that Cedar Fair is now focusing on that with the new edition of 2022. And I think you're going to see more restaurant um, renovations coming to Canada's Wonderland and more seating added to Canada's Wonderland. And I think you're going to see a lot of self-service coming to Canada's Wonderland as well. Similar to what you see at McDonald's, going up to a screen, placing your order, and then taking your ticket number and picking up your food. I think that if we don't see that at Canada's Wonderland, I'll be shocked. I am hearing that that could be coming to Canada's Wonderland and other Cedar Fair parks. So I would love to see that. I think at Canada's Wonderland and other amusement parks are going to be heading down that route to save money on labor. 
and it would help with congestion and being able to move staff to other areas of the park. Anyways, hopefully you enjoyed this video. Other parts of this series are coming soon, so stay tuned. Hopefully you had an amazing weekend. Have a good one, guys. Bye.